His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met at Tsakhir Palace with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi on the sidelines of Bahrain's hosting the 33rd Arab Summit. His Majesty welcomed Egypt's President, thanking him for accepting the invitation to participate in the summit. President al Sisi expressed appreciation to His Majesty for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, hailing Bahrain's efforts and its excellent organization to make the Arab Summit a success. The two sides reviewed the deep rooted fraternal relations and the course of cooperation and the continuation of bolstering them to serve the two countries' interests and aspirations of their people. As as well as discussing current regional and international issues. They held the level of Bahraini-Egyptian relations, expressing hope to bolster cooperation in light of the strong historical ties between the two countries, leaderships, and peoples. The two sides wished the Arab leaders' success in the Arab summit to achieve the desired goals, serve the Arab nation, enhance the joint Arab action system, and support peace, security, and stability in the region. His Majesty the King and the Egyptian President hailed the level of coordination and the unity of visions between their countries towards various issues and affirmed the importance of enhancing unity and joint Arab action in combating all challenges. The President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, arrived in Bahrain to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit. Upon arrival, the Egyptian President was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad al-Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif al-Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa al-Khalifa, the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghayt, and senior officials were also in attendance. His Majesty King Abdullah II bin al Hussein of Jordan also arrived in Bahrain to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit. Upon arrival, he was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust, and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani, the Minister of Finance, and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghayt, and senior officials were also in attendance.
Israel Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa met with the heads and members of labor federations and unions in Bahrain at Rafah Palace. The meeting took place in commemoration of the International Labor Day, which falls annually on May 1st. His Royal Highness highlighted the exceptional skill set of Bahraini citizens, adding that their efforts, dedication, creativity, responsibility and competence continue to yield achievements across various sectors. He noted that every Bahraini employee is an integral part of Team Bahrain and contributes to the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness congratulated Bahraini employees on the occasion of the International Labor Day. He underscored the importance of federations and labor unions in enhancing cooperation between the government, employers and employees to support Bahrain's vibrant labor market. He he also highlighted their role in representing Bahrain across regional and international forums and promoting national successes and achievements across the labor field. His Royal Highness emphasized Bahrain's commitment to upholding the rights and guarantees of Bahraini workers and recognizing their role in advancing the nation's progress. He noted the importance of furthering cooperation and coordination among relevant authorities to bolster the welfare of Bahraini workers. He highlighted the importance of continuing to enhance the skill sets of Bahraini workforce by providing training programs and initiatives that ensure they remain their first choice in the labor market, affirming the Kingdom's commitment to offering high-quality job prospects for Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the relentless efforts of Bahraini citizens across diverse jobs and sectors and their role in shaping Bahrain's present and future development. The heads and members of labor federations and unions extended their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness, acknowledging his dedication to the rights of Bahraini workers and the development of the country's vibrant labor market. They reiterated their commitment to further efforts that support Bahrain's ongoing progress. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Educational Charitable Trust and chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the newly appointed Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Sabah. The President of Iraq, Dr. Abdul Latif Jamal Rashid, arrived in the kingdom to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain. The President was received by the personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Also present were the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghait, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Zayani, and the Head of the Mission of Honor, Ambassador Khalid Ahmed Al Mansour.
The President of Mauritania, Mohamed Wilde Sheikh Al-Ghazwani, arrived in the kingdom to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit. The President was received by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al-Khalifa. Also present were the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghait, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al-Zayani, and the Head of the Mission of Honor, Dr. Ahmed Mohamed Al-Hadi. The Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas arrived in the kingdom to take part in the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain. Upon arrival, he was received by the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa.
Also present were the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Arab League Assistant Secretary General, Head of the Media and Communications Sector at the Arab League, Ambassador Ahmed Rashid Khatabi. The chairman of the Presidential Leadership Council in Yemen, Rashad Mohammed Al Alimi, arrived in the kingdom to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain. He was received by the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The chairman of the Presidential Council of Libya, President Mohamed al Mnafi, arrived in the kingdom to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain. He was received by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister of Morocco, Aziz Akhnouch, arrived in Bahrain to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain. He was received by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Also at the reception were the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Ambassador Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and Assistant Secretary General and Head of the Media and Communications Sector at the Arab League, Ambassador Ahmed Rashid Khatabi.
Lebanese caretaker Prime Minister Najib Miqati arrived in the kingdom to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit hosted by Bahrain. He was received by the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The President of the Union of the Comoros, Azali Asmani, arrived in the Kingdom of Bahrain to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit. The President was received by the Head of the Mission of Honor, Sheikh Khalifa bin Muhammad bin Atiyat Allah Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, arrived in the Kingdom to, of Bahrain to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit. Upon arrival, the Secretary General was received by the advisory to His Majesty the King for Diplomatic Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Head of the Mission of Honor, Ambassador Nasser Mohammed Al Blushi. The President of Djibouti, Ismail Omar Gila, arrived in the Kingdom to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit to be held in Bahrain. Upon arrival, the President was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Arab League Assistant Secretary General, Head of the Media and Communication Sector at the Arab League, Ahmed Rashid Khatabi, and uh, Escort of Honor, Ambassador Ahmed Ibrahim Al Grainis.
The Minister of Foreign Affairs and National Community Abroad of the People's Democratic Republic of Algeria, Ahmed Attaf, arrived in the Kingdom of Bahrain to participate in the 33rd Arab Summit to be hosted in the Kingdom of Bahrain tomorrow. The minister was received by Ambassador of Bahrain to Algeria and Escort of Honor Ali Jassam Al Aradi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif Al Zayani, met with the Iraqi Deputy Prime Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Fahad Hussein, on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom to participate in the preparatory meeting of Arab Foreign Affairs Minister ahead of the summit. The two sides discussed the fraternal relations and the cooperation between both countries and means to bolster cooperation and the topics on the summit's agenda. They also discussed regional developments and their impacts on security and stability. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Lebanese Minister of Foreign Affairs and Immigrants, Abdullah Bouhabib, on the sidelines of the 33rd Arab Summit. The meeting discussed the country's historic brotherly relations and means of bolstering cooperation on all levels for the benefit of mutual interests. The ministers also discussed the latest regional developments and the war on Gaza and its reflection on the regional security and stability. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Fifth World Entrepreneurs Investment Forum in the presence of the Arab League Secretary General, ministers, and senior officials. The forum coincides with the 33rd Arab Summit and is organized by the UN Industrial Development Organization Investment and Technology Promotion Office in Bahrain, in collaboration with the BCCI, the Secretariat General of the Arab League, the Union of Arab Chambers, and Arab Bank for Economic Development in Africa and the Islamic Solidarity Fund for Development. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa participated in a panel discussion alongside the Arab League Secretary General and the Deputy Director General and Managing Director of Global Partnerships and External Relations at UNIDO, Fatou Haidara. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa emphasized that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, continues to implement strategic plans that contribute to achieving the goals of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 and Bahrain's Economic Recovery Plan. The minister added that the initial discussion of the formation of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2050 is initiated, emphasizing the importance of utilizing all available resources and accommodating technological developments of AI. He highlighted the role of the private sector as a main engine, as an active partner and economic development. A number of prominent figures were honored for their role in promoting the culture of entrepreneurship. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa also inaugurated the tour the WEIF exhibition, where he was briefed on the artwork of business owners. Arab countries and their integration and cooperation constitute an economic force through which future aspirations towards progress can be achieved. In light of the Arab economic challenges, Arab countries were able to achieve qualitative leaps and sign trade agreements through which the movement of exports and imports between Arab countries was stimulated. More on this report. The strength of countries is represented by the strength of their economy to achieve rapid leaps in the world of advanced technology and smart industries. Today, there is an urgent need to enhance and achieve Arab economic integration, which was called for by the preparatory meeting of the Economic and Social Council for the 33rd Arab Summit, to achieve the aspirations of future generations toward prosperity and development. Due to its natural resources and skilled labor, Arab countries were able to promote economic growth and strengthen intra-trade in light of the current global Arab economic challenges. Through the establishment of the Greater Arab Free Trade Area in 1998 and signing trade and economic agreements through which the movement of exports and imports between Arab countries was stimulated. At the GCC level, a unified customs tariff was agreed upon to strengthen cooperation with Arab countries as they are the strategic depth of the GCC to confront international blocs. GCC countries also joined the Arab Free Trade Agreement, which entered into force in 2005 and was preceded by the signing of an agreement to establish a free trade zone between the GCC states and Lebanon in 2004. Cooperation and integration between Arab countries is an economic strength and enhancing Arab investment in various fields will inevitably achieve sustainable development.
Bahrain Post launched a memorial stamp with the logo of Bahrain Summit and a picture of Skhir Palace on the occasion of hosting the 33rd Arab Summit. The new stamp is available in all branches of Bahrain Post and the Stamp Museum. As part of the Kingdom of Bahrain's preparations to host the 33rd Arab Summit, the Media Center was inaugurated to provide comfort for journalists and media professionals. More in this report. In light of the preparations to host the 33rd Arab Summit chaired by His Majesty the King, the Summit's Media Center completed its preparations to facilitate the work of media professionals by providing them with all the necessary logistical and technical services and content, which reflects the importance of the event and the wide media presence. The Media Center has been equipped with all technical and administrative services to ensure that the various media outlets can cover the Arab Summit, which will be held on Thursday. All facilities have been provided to the local, regional and international media due to the importance of their role in shedding light on this historic summit. The Kingdom of Bahrain's hosting of the Arab Summit receives wide Arab appreciation, which reflects the Kingdom's keenness to consolidate solidarity and unity among Arab countries due to the approach adopted by the Kingdom, based on supporting peace and stability and enhancing cooperation in all fields. The Arab League, which includes 22 Arab countries that have been meeting since 1945, is proof of the close ties between Arab states and their people. The Minister of Tourism and Chairman of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, the BTEA, Fatma Sayrafi, met with the President of the Arab Tourism Organization, Dr. Bandar bin Fahad al in the presence of the CEO of the BTEA, Sarah Bouhaji, on the sidelines of the 33rd Arab Summit to discuss revitalizing the Arab tourism sector. The Minister emphasized several key initiatives to unlock the region's vast tourism potential, including enhancing cooperation in tourism education and training, promoting inter-Arab tourism, attracting investment in Arab destinations, and streamlining travel procedures between countries. 
In addition to advocating for enhanced regional cooperation, Al-Sadafi underscored the urgency of implementing the Arab tourism strategy and dismantling barriers to inter-Arab travel and emphasized the significance of the meetings held during Bahrain summit and fostering tourism integration among Arab countries.